much about the social the social aspect as it is the exercise, but we, we, we love to get the exercise too, and you know, walking is a great, great form of exercise. Really well, eager to be, the, be back doing it again. And the single digit beds too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're a senior, the more active you are, the more friends you have, uh, the better you feel, the longer you live, the, the more you're able to stay in your own home uh, as long as possible, which is one of our main goals. Bring your hands back by your shoulders and turn your toes under. Well, I decided when I retired, I, it was my last chance to get in shape. So I started practicing a lot. Notice which leg is in front and switch. This is meant to reflect what people can do, not reflect what they can't do. So we have volunteers who are here with plots and we're all working together on planning what we're gonna plant here and growing together. We'll have some work days where we all work together on that. Uh, and then we'll be um, taking advantage of the fruits of our labor at the end of it. Yeah. I'm going for all vegetables. Some jalapenos. Yeah, I knew mm. you'd want those. You know, once we found out about the variety of programs and support services and social events they offer, we said, okay, this is a win-win situation for us. Village in the Ville is a mutual support network for adults 50 and over living in the Clintonville, Beachwald, and University District areas of Columbus, Ohio. It involves both uh, social activities as well as volunteer assistance. Both Liz and I had been 30 years ago in a babysitting co-op, and it seemed as if it was just a natural next step to take a babysitting co-op to a kind of a outer care. So it's kind of like the whole co-op idea. We're all giving and getting. And in fact, I think five people from that babysitting co-op are now active in the village. So it's kind of come full circle. So members like Beth, we take Beth to doctor's appointments. Uh, so we're, we're what, Wilson Bridge Road? Is that the, that, that, that place yes. we've been before? Okay. I'll link a volunteer to pick her up and uh, typically wait at the appointment and then take her to get, uh, pick up prescriptions on the way home and then, you know, go back to home or work. And uh, this, the transportation piece is so important. Yeah. The social component is really important because you can meet people where they are and that can grow so if somebody needs support, they have a trusting relationship to ask for support. And they've been really important to me for medical appointments because not only do they drive me, but somebody stays with me and cares about the answer of whatever's happening with that doctor, which you wouldn't get with a taxi cab or another kind of service. It's nice not to have to depend on friends and family all the time. Uh, sometimes when you have a lot of needs, the village just fills in nicely. You know, you can call them and it, your, your, your family's working, your friends are working, they can come in the middle of the day. Um, it's just very, very convenient. We get to know the people that are the volunteers, which is really nice. Two of my closest friends are volunteers that drive uh, to take people to doctors, and sometimes they're the ones that pick me up. Um, we get to know each other. We get to know the volunteers. It's, it's nice to be able to, to have that exchange of helping other people, yet at the same time receiving the help from other folks. And like Mary said, you... you, you you not only have friends that are volunteers, but you also make friends. And you find connections and interests with other people that you meet through Village in the Ville. Isolation can really shorten one's longevity and, and impact one's mental health and one's sense of wellness. And so the social component is very important and it's wonderful to get people together to do activities that interest them and engage them, but the friendships that occur uh, over a game of cards or in a knitting circle or touring a garden, uh, these are what is at the heart of all this social activity. Well, I think in about another month we can start putting those seedlings that you've started into our plot. I've met a lot of wonderful people that live right here in my neighborhood, but that I had never uh, met before. Uh, and the social activities that we have are invaluable. It feels good to help out 
somebody who needs help and I'm hoping I'm paying it forward and when I get to the point that I need some help there'll be some younger people who will help me. Those of us who are baby boomers want to stay at home as long as we can and a way that we do this is through support through something like Village of the Ville. Well that's the whole purpose of the village is to keep people in their homes, uh, to provide act activities for them to go to and attend so they won't be isolated and then to have volunteers to come in and help with things that they wouldn't that they can't do for themselves. It's something that is filling a need and it helps build a community. It helps you get to know your neighbor more and um, you know you, you cross paths with these people at other places at the park walking your dog um, at the grocery store and and it just builds more strength in the fiber of the community. But you reach a point where you don't want to have to depend on asking for favors all the time and uh, people are willing to help but it's nice to be independent enough not to have to be always asking your family and your friends for help and have another resource. It is very much this model where everybody has something to give and everybody's going to have something they receive. So even the volunteers we find, uh, I mean, they get that pleasure of meeting a new person and making a new friend and helping someone in their community, which makes life better for all of us here.